Hello, Scorpios. How are you doing? I hope all of you are doing well. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Thank you, Scorpios, as always, to support my channel. Thank you. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at my other videos, please do so. It might may help you on your journey. And this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So let's see what's coming up for our Scorpios. Uh, we had a video yesterday about your the person whoever you were dealing with in the past was blaming you. So um, thinking it's all your fault. So yeah. So let's see. Scorpios always at the end of the reading, you always get to make the choice that you want. So make sure that you're following your desires, your wishes, and to live the best life possible. Okay. And so at the end of the day, you get to be happy without this miserable person causing problems for you. All right, so the first card is speaking of that decision making here. You have a new beginning here with the world card. This world card is your powerful energy. All right, so I do see here, Scorpio, that you are coming out of something, dealing with that King of Wands before the energy, but I'm going to get one more. Spirit, can you give me one more for Scorpio? Well, they gave me three. So, let's see. We're going to take this one here and here. So, we're going to talk about this situation, Scorpio, that you are dealing with. And then, ooh, okay. All right, Scorpio. So, you, you, Scorpios. You are the type of person, Scorpio, because you have the natural light. Um, you have sparkles in your eyes, right? So you have this beautiful soul light inside you that just kind of gleams through your eyes. And when it does, people who are toxic is are attracted to that, okay? So I want to say that first of all. If you're asking yourself, why am I still attracting these people that don't seem to do right by me? Um, it's because you have a natural light that's like a magnetism, right? It's like a magnet uh, drawing these people in. So I'm going to help you how to put up your boundaries. And hopefully through our reading here, you're going to learn how to put up the boundaries. I just don't just read the cards. I give you that advice and also life advice to what you can do to protect yourself. Um, but going into your reading here, Scorpio, you are in this um, <clears throat> energy of starting a new beginning for yourself. Yes, you've been through some tough times in the past. You had you went through some difficult challenges with people, money, whatnot, but you're starting this new beginning because I do see here you the Empress in reverse. You are feeling low energy right now. You are feeling like things are not going right. Things are might not be going well for you. And <clears throat> and so you are trying to be a better, you know, better you, but it, it is still affecting you. You might have PDSD, okay, from traumas from the past. And it's no joke, right? So that might be one of the reasons that, you know, you've been traumatized by people or situations and toxic situations that could have been affecting you on a mental level. Now, with the Queen of Swords in reverse here, <clears throat> you are coming out of that energy where you are, you know, starting to want to conversate with people, want to not be so guarded um, put yourself out there a little bit more and the things you want to do. Um, you do have this knot of pentacles in reverse and that, it, that knot of pentacles in reverse is telling me that you might be waiting on someone to come back apologize or someone who might be, but I don't see it happening right now, okay? Um, you are staying to yourself with the hermit card here. You are staying to yourself. Uh, Scorpio, get out in the sunlight, okay? Go out for walks. Go do something nice for yourself. Please, please, please don't waste your time waiting on somebody <clears throat> to make things right with you. They just did. You're the chosen one. You're a star seed. You're not, you know, not for that person. And, and you just didn't match up with this person. They did put you through some cycles here. They put you with the eight of, eight of swans. Um, they cut communication or ignored you, give you the silent treatment. Um, and they put you in some type of cycles, you know, that no matter how many times, how hard you tried, no matter how many times you tried to put yourself in to fix things, it just didn't seem to work, right? So you have this knot of swords, though. This person will 
They do want to communicate with you. They do want to say, but you cannot, Scorpio, forget what this person is toxic. But they're going to come back like, hey, Scorpio, nothing has, you know, I have changed. All right. You know, they're saying here, I'm going to come back. I'm, I want to talk to you. I want to make things better. But you're going to be fooled by this, Scorpio. They're going to give you the same BS all over again. Don't put yourself through that cycle again or cycle of mental abuse or emotional abuse physical abuse, whatever it happened, don't put yourself through that again, okay? And now that you have to take responsibility for because you get to make a decision if this person can be in your life or not. You got to separate your emotions and your logic. Look at how this person treated you. Did they do right by you? If the answer is no, do not take them back because you're going to show them you're, you're disrespecting yourself right here. All right, you should, and and show you got to put yourself in a position to be respected. Okay, so I'm gonna take one, some more, five more cards about this energy I'm getting. What's this person planning with Scorpio? Now you are back and forth with this person, and you're some of you are out there still having hope that this person's gonna change. They're going to come back, They're and they will come back. I mean, but you can stop them. They're still watching you, you know. And you might be watching them to see if they unblocked you and things like that. One more, please, with the Page of Swords. It's like secretly, secretly you're trying to want to communicate with this person, and you're keeping them in that energy. Um, wow, okay, there's that King of Wands again. All right. You can do what you want to, Scorpio. It's completely up to you. But this person is still, you're still holding on to this person. Like, should should I talk to this person? Should I try to reach out to him? Try? No. That's my, my answer. You do what you want, okay? But you still have some hope here that this person, you're going to, uh, they're going to reach out to you, talk to you, and make things better for you. But remember, you have the devil card here. It has some toxic energy here. And this energy in reverse uh, it's showing, yes, it's showing some it, it, a surprise or something that's going to be um, unexpected or somebody who is wanting that second opportunity. And me, me saying that, you have the Two of Cups here. You do feel that connection with that person. I understand because you have the soul tie with the devil. All right. You can, you know, I say this all the time when I do personal readings, devils and angels do not go together. All right, you got to keep your pure soul light. You cannot mix it with toxic people. It just doesn't work. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this page of wands is going to, they come in as a player, charming, attractive, you know, love mumming. Like they have all their life together. They're going to do right, but really they don't. You're getting the complete opposite. So be careful because when they return here, they're going to talk about getting back together with you. And this could be someone that you haven't even spoken to in a long time, okay? Maybe it's been months. And then all of a sudden, people just wake up after they've been running around in the field, chasing other people and trading you in for somebody else, and they want to come back to you? No. Scorpio, raise yourself up. from that. Put yourself in that empress level. You are the empress, male or female. Do better for yourself. Okay. Do one more. Yeah, so you have the four of pentacles. They liked you for stability. Emotional stability, emotional support. They they love that feeling that you gave them. They're not just coming back for love. They're coming back to suck, suck up your energy as the empress. They need your emotional energy. They need sex or they need money. They need a place to live. They need attention. It's the number one thing here, attention, stability, attention, to feel validated. After they showed you who they are, believe them, Scorpio. All right, let's see your energy, Scorpio. How Scorpio feeling towards this person? How are you feeling towards this person with the Page of Pentacles? 
You're waiting for them still to apologize to you. This is not the person for you. There's the King of Wands again in the reverse. This person, Scorpio, for your advice is not to just, you want closure here because this is the reason you have not moved on. Um, <clears throat> you're still waiting for that closure, that offer of closure, that offer of apologies, uh, uh, you know, so you can move on. Scorpio, you don't need this person to move on. You could just say, I was dealing with something. I don't even know who this person was. I don't even know who this person is. I don't even know why I'm sitting around waiting for this person to say they love me. You don't need nobody to love you, Scorpio. You love yourself. You're a scorpion for a reason, to be strong. So, Five of Cups, yes, I can see that this person's missing you, but there's no chance. All right, this person brought you bad luck. They, they didn't, sh they showed you somebody completely different than who they really are. They didn't stay consistent with who they are. So see the person for who they really are. Don't live in illusions that this person was your dream person. No. You know, here, go out and you're making your money. Focus on yourself. Raise yourself to a higher level. Yeah, this person put seem like they put you be happy or they could have put you in a third party. Don't put let them put you back in that cycle again for whatever reason. <clears throat> people people are just out here. They couldn't control you. This is why they blamed you. This King of Pentacles could not control you. And they're not all that. Remember this is they were breadcrumbing you. They gave you no hope. They were juggling you. Right? It's King of Pentacles. Juggling you. I mean, they were breadcrumbing you, not giving you anything to keep. They didn't even give you something to keep, Scorpio. They There's no hope with this. And they're still juggling back and forth. And, and they're going to keep juggling. But you might be juggling too, like, in a way of... Um, you know, decision making. Am I going to take this person back? If they walked on, if they knocked on your door, would you, would you take them back? They want to control of you. They want to dominate you. You already know with this person, this this is this can't work. They didn't offer you a life. They didn't offer you a future. They came off as a sweet, charming, loving person. But when they were done with you, they they just act like you know you didn't exist. But I feel like you're doing that now. And it hurts you to have to do this to someone you love. I get it. As a Scorpio, loyalty. Okay, you can't stay loyal to someone who wasn't loyal to you. So this is my help. You. Yes, this is a fake soulmate. As I said in my video yesterday, a fake soulmate. They came in as that king of wands, charming and loving and all that, giving you that connection. As soon as they made that connection with you, they bounced. You call that love? No. And I know you held them accountable. But this is not your person. So the sooner you let this person go, let them lose you, Scorpio. You know this person didn't deserve your love. This is why they made, at the end of the day, they, they didn't even value you. And this goes for men and women. You are you. Again, this is the same card I had yesterday, I believe. You are you. Heal from this. You got to do some healing here. But Scorpio, this is um, this is a reading where you're putting up this strength, right? This strength of boundaries, knowing how to protect yourself from toxic people. People who just comes in your life, lives and you just got to have to learn how to, in your own mind, not allow people to do what they want to to you. You can't fix people. And I know as a Scorpio, you're a rescuer. You're a person who wants to make things right. You want things to be better. And you will do it 50 times if you need to. But you see, after 50 times, the person is still the same. If they loved you, they wouldn't hurt you in the first place. If they truly loved you. 
They wouldn't have disappeared on you. They wouldn't have left. But they blame you. And let them blame you. Let them sit in that. Let them think what they want. But they don't have, they don't own you. This is that person. He, they wanted to control you. And I know you see both of you are in the reverse. And your lover's card is in the reverse. This was not supposed, you supposed to have met this person to learn to protect yourself from, from uh, bad people, evil people, because you were too, too giving. But this was not your true soulmate. Because all you, the emperor and the empress is in reverse, and the lover's card is in reverse. So please, Scorpio, make sure you protect yourself. You don't deserve, make sure you analyze people like you, you know how to do. Make sure you read through them. Don't lose your intuition with people. One man, one woman, two men, two woman, women out of your whole life is not the end of the world. Go find someone else, someone who's going to be better, who's going to treat you right, if that's what you want. But this mask, you already, this person took off their mask. They took off their mask. They went from that being that sweet king of wands to the devil energy. Okay, that's who you were with. And that, even if you're a man watching this, it doesn't matter about the genders here. So let's take off that, okay? All right? You were sleeping with somebody demonic, somebody with a dark soul. You're not like that. You are the empress with a beautiful connection soul. Do you see my point? You can't be with that kind of energy and expect it to work. It doesn't work. This is why it did not work. You were with the wrong energy, spirit energy. So Scorpios, this is what I have for you. I'm sorry to do the mess of the readings, but um, hopefully this will help you heal, help you understand uh, this person. They knew exactly what they were doing. You deserve a thousand times better, Scorpio. Go live your life. Be happy. Enjoy yourself with the time that's left on earth. Don't give it away to, to trashy people. Or dark souls. Or people who's trying to make you become just like them. Okay. They can take your energy and turn you into a dark soul. you got to protect yourself. Look into the mirror. See the beautiful sparkling, sparkling glimmer in your eyes. Do not lose that light. Okay. Don't get the, the sad eyes. Okay. Don't lose yourself. Keep your identity. Be true to who you are. And if you like a personal reading, reach out to me. I will take readings. I will start reading sometimes next week, getting my job schedule. And I know a lot of you are reaching out to me, but um, I want you to take this away, Scorpio. Love yourself more than anyone. You have to in this 2024. You have to be careful. You have to protect your energy and be cautious because not everyone has the same heart as you. So take that away. Absorb it, think about it, and cry it out to heal yourself. I right, trust me, you will get over this person, but you will remember who they, what they did to you. Remember the bad things they did. Don't start daydreaming about maybe they changed. Maybe they're gonna be sweet to me now. No, that only lasts for a week. Then they go right back to the dark soul they are. They can't get away from it. Only God can heal that kind of soul, and they have to be looking for it. So pray to, to your um, higher power, whoever you believe in, and, and take care of your own soul. Take care of yourself. Protect your soul. So as there's demonic people out here trying, that's working for the devil that's trying to get into you. And that is real. Okay, I'm just keeping it real. So Scorpio, that's what I have for you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, um, let me know. I have to, I can't do it. Um, I am, I got a lot of things going on right now, but if, reach out to me, put your name on the schedule and I'll be glad to give you that reading. Okay. All right, Scorpio, take care. Send in love and light and beautiful wishes. Stay away from bad people. Okay. When you feel it, believe it. Okay. Take care, Scorpio. Send in love and light. Take care.